<laughs> morning, folks. <laughs> These uh, shaving cream brought to me by uh, Captain's Choice. This one here is the Bay Rum scent. That is what it looks like there on the inside. It like might be kind of washing it out. It is a uh, kind of a pearl color to it. Now, the uh, the scent on this one here, as it goes for Bay Rum, it does have a bit of a clove scent to it, which works well for my nose. Um, I decided to kind of go in both directions. This one here has a little bit of a clove scent to it, but at least per my nose it does. And then I thought I'd go the opposite direction. This one here has less of a clove scent to it. thought I'd go both ways. Both of them will play well with each other, but I've, uh, this one here, this Colonel Conk, um, I actually found in a brick and mortar store here locally. Um, this particular one that I have here, um, it has a plastic stopper right through the top there. So once you get that removed, what you have in a way of restrictor is uh, just the opening. Try not to lose that. It's just the opening in the bottle there. That's all you got there for a restrictor, if you want to call that a restrictor. But anyway, this one here, per my nose, doesn't have quite the um, uh, clove scent to it that the uh, uh, shaving cream does. I like both of them. I think, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, it depends on what kind of mood you're in, what kind of scent you're looking for. Both of them will play well together. It smells wonderful. Um, trying out a, uh, it's been around for a while, kind of dripping on the side there. Got my fine lathering bowl. You kind of see I was getting, <laughs> I was having a lot of fun whipping it up here. It's definitely on the wet side. And this is a, I think it's called, I never know how to pronounce this one here. V-Long, V-Long, I think it's called V-Long. It's a horse hair knot. I got a link down below if you want to check it out. Uh, but you can kind of tell, I, it's, I got it whipped up somewhat on the wet side. It, uh, man, it smells good though. Uh, uh, matter of fact, the uh, past few uh, days I've been shaving with it, and uh, man, is it great. Um, guess you might say, though, the, the star of the show, in my opinion, at least for today, is the uh, this particular uh, razor. Uh, this is an injector from Supply. I've got a link down below if you want to check it out, but the blade is, uh, right now, I had one sent to me to give it a try to see how it works out. You, I, if it depends on how often you uh, uh, watch my videos, I kind of mention it from time to time. Injector blades, if you're interested in injectors, you don't have very many blades to be choosing from. There's just not very many manufacturers. And uh, Supply has uh, d decided to try to, you know, I guess you might say, give it a shot at making their own blades. And if I got this, if I understand this right, he has a, he, they, uh, the company, yeah, there we go. That's how probably the best way to put it. Um, it's kind of done like what Harry's has done and bought a factory, the way I understand it. And so in other words, they're going to try their shot at making their own blades, which is going to be fantastic because another choice in the injector blade business, if you will, so that you'll have a, another choice of maybe one blade didn't work out for you, maybe this blade will. And uh, so to me, I, it's, it's real exciting uh, to have uh, somebody still innovating, still looking to uh, improve on what's out there. And like I say, since there's just not very many uh, manufacturers of injector blades, it, it does make it nice. Now, this particular blade here, when I was looking at it, it's funny, it I was thinking about doing it on camera, but I, I just couldn't figure out the best way with what I've got to work with on how to show it. And um, so the best way to explain it uh, is uh, if you're familiar with uh, straight razors, uh, the grinds and straight razors are different. In other words, you'll hear the term of a uh, uh, full hollow or a quarter hollow or a wedge or something like that. And uh, that's, for me, that's probably the best way to try to explain um, the uh, the grind on the blade and when it comes to feather artist club style blades or injector blades the grind uh, uh, could make a huge difference on how the person uh, shades feel is and this one here 
it looks like it's got uh, instead of having maybe a near wedge it's a uh, closer to being a more in other words instead of being like this the grind is a lot closer to being like a three-quarter hollow grind or something like that and i know on the uh, kai uh, mild pinks those, those blades there the grind is different as opposed to the grind that's on a feather artist club uh, super for instance it is a different kind of grind uh, both of those blades work well for me they're totally different shave feels though uh, I like both of them they work well for me I try the feather artist club uh, professional and uh, the professional just doesn't work well for me and I know it works well for a lot of people not so much for me so uh, in other words if you follow along that vein of uh, feather artist club blades and Kai blades and there's different ones and the reason why there's different ones is because folks need different blades with different grinds and so on and so forth coatings as well in order to get a smooth shave and uh, and as uh, the more you start to think about this injector blades probably should follow along the same line in that a particular grind or coating for one person may not work that well for others so if you got a little bit of a variety to work with, you might have a better chance of uh, more folks using your product. There we go. Long story to get to that point, huh? <laughs> but at any rate, this one here is the uh, copper version. Out of stock at the moment, but I did leave a link down below. It's a good looking shaver. Nice, polished. Yeah, I like it. Um, I have uh, the earlier version of this. I guess you might say that's... Uh, uh, it's not copper though, but it's just stainless. But it, uh, I've had it for quite a while, and it's my. It was my first uh, uh, supply injector. Boy, how do I, I really do like these. The style of the handle is very reminiscent of what you might see in a pile, uh, a pal uh, injector, um, injectomatic as well as the adjustable has this tapered in. It's the design to me is really nice. Um, it does, you can use an injector, or if you're like me, you can use the uh, mini hair shaper blades, same blades, just different dispenser. I take it apart, put the blade in there. It works well for me. So this blade is the new blade that they're testing out. And some folks may have already done a video. And I can tell you already, this is pretty nice. Oh, the plate I'm using is a two-dot plate. I should mention that. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is fantastic. Um, boy, they did a good job on this one. I could say that, at least my eye, when I was looking at it, I think the grind is somewhat different than how you say the I shik injector blade or a persona injector blade it this does feel really smooth yes i'm uh <laughs> yeah i'm really excited the difference in the shave is is it's very it's dramatic in other words as soon as you use it i mean at least for me i can tell the difference Matter of fact, I may have to do a few more shaves with this off camera. That way I give a little bit more time to think about what's going on with the blade because right now it's just, it's just so smooth. It's, uh, it's really hard to, I guess you might say, explain all of it, but I sure do want to enjoy some more of these, more shaves with this blade. This is really cool. Like I say, for me, it's exciting to have somebody that is, uh, going to broaden our, uh, availability of blades for injectors especially if you're an injector fan i know not everybody is you know they're of all the vintage vintage uh, shavers out there when it comes to injectors um they're vintage so uh some of them are going to be well used some of them maybe not quite so much and uh since the availability of blades are somewhat limited a lot of folks kind of shy away from it and then there's others that just don't get good shaves with it, with injectors. And maybe this just might be what they need. 
is a different blade, and this one here is very smooth. Man, this smells good. I like Bay Rum. Matter of fact, here recently, pick up a stick of soap from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Bay Rum scented. So it's um for me, I, I can Bay Rum year round. It, it's not a seasonal thing for me. <laughs> Very smooth. Wow, this is incredible. I think for some folks, this might be the game changer. This is what some might be looking for, is this blade. I have, uh, in the near future, I'll discuss a little bit about uh, my eBay find. I found a heart steel straight razor. Shorty, stubby, whatever you want to call it. It's shorter than normal, in other words. Kind of excited about it, too. But this here, this is uh, fantastic. Matter of fact, as it goes for this blade here, this might be my... Uh, I use Persona on a pretty regular basis. And uh, it just I think this just might unseat it. I think this just might be my new favorite. It's kind of like the Kai Ping. Uh, Feather Supers were, were the one for me until I tried the Kai Pinks, and boy, howdy. Since then, those are awesome blades. But the grind on the uh, Super versus the Kai Pinks, it, they're totally different. You can see a huge difference in them. Oh, I know I need to make sure that I put a link down below if you're interested in trying uh, some blades, uh, in other words, like uh, Feather Artist Club or whatever, so you can get those blades uh, by, the, you know, they were single pack instead of buying, you know, a whole 20. If you're interested in something like that, try a blade's a pretty good place to go to. And uh, Razor Blade Club, I'll put a link down below to both of them if you want to check them out, where you can pick up some singles. Because there are some of them that I need to try that I haven't tried just yet. Um, I've never tried, in other words, a feather guard. I have never tried one. I have no idea how it'll feel. But I know some folks uh, in uh, uh, some of the shave vests, that's what they prefer. It makes such a, this blade makes such a difference in this plate that it feels like it, the plate is a, uh, uh, the one dot plate as opposed to the two dot plate. It's just that smooth. I should mention also, if you're relatively new to injectors, you're going to want to pay attention to uh, your technique with this shaver in that it does have some weight behind it. It's not a lightweight shaver. So it's one of those things where you're letting the weight of the shaver, sharpness of the blade, do the work for you. You want to be careful about your pressure, in other words. You really want to guide this along your face. You don't want to add a, in other words, just enough to, gli to guide it. Uh, put too much pressure on this, and yeah, you're probably going to end up with weepers or whatnot. And I think this particular shaver that would be the case, regardless of the blade. Such a smooth shaver, my goodness. And this, this, uh, this is awesome. Looks like they've done their homework on it. Fantastic. <laughs> It's not every day you find a, a blade that feels so much different than what you've been used to using. And I've got so many Persona blades now. <laughs> and as soon as they come out with these, yeah, I plan on buying them. Quite a few of them, matter of fact. Man, this is great. Fantastic. Excited. 
You know, it's kind of funny, isn't it? Be this excited about a uh, uh, razor blade. <laughs> it's not quite like buying a new car, but it can be just as exciting to get such a smooth shave with a shaver you already enjoy using anyway. I've got shaving cream everywhere this morning. All right, Phoenix Arson Accoutrements uh, Allen Block complete with rubber band this morning. I know I mention it from time to time, but this is probably one of the most inexpensive shaving items you can get. It's four fifty, upwards maybe five dollars somewhere in there, and for me it'll last about a year or so. <laughs> Depends on how long I try to hang on to the little sliver at the end. But yeah, Allen blocks have a tendency to last a while as long as you don't drop them. I have yet to drop mine. The reason why I like this rubber band, um, it works well for me. I know for some other folks, maybe it's not necessary to have, maybe they hang on to it better than I do, but uh, that rubber band makes a world of difference for me. I tried it early on without the rubber band, and nah, <laughs> I have to have the rubber band. Humphrey's Witch Hazel, this one here is a uh, cucumber melon with, I uh, added a little bit of peppermint to it. It stayed well blended, that's what happened when I added the peppermint to it. Nice cooling effect. I do enjoy the scent with the bay rum though. I'm glad I got the shaving cream. It does remind me, the shaving cream color uh, kind of reminds me of Leah uh, shaving cream uh, has that color to it, which I do enjoy that that shaving cream also. It, it's pretty nice. I'm glad I picked this up. Nice cooling effect. I enjoy that. All right, now for the, there is one thing I mentioned from time to time I wish uh, more folks would do because, you know, you're shaving, you got a little bit of residual slickness on your hands. Uh, these smooth caps sometimes can be really hard to hang on to and <laughs> get a grip on. All right, try to be careful pouring this out. Gonna be smelling good this morning, that's for sure. I really had uh, just a great shave. Oh, uh, it's uh, this blade is just fantastic. Um, can't wait for it to be uh, available out to the masses. He only sent me one blade. Um, I buy a whole bunch more. <laughs> I really enjoyed the shave this morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shaves to you.